Australians woke up this morning to find they couldn't view or share news content on Facebook. The social media giant moving to block every Aussie news site from its platform as it faces an incoming law that will force it to pay for content. But the hardball tactic hasn't gone down well, as Imogen Wells explains. This is Nine News. From the big media players to the smaller fry. Welcome to this special edition of Six News on this Thursday. Australians can no longer access their news on Facebook. Uh, quite shocking. A lot of people really shocked about this announcement. The social media heavyweight hitting the nuclear button overnight, scrapping all Australian news outlets from its platform without warning. We are digital only, so that is our only way to provide news. It's tough. It is really tough and uh, quite honestly it's devastating because Facebook uh, audience was about one third of our viewers. Just goes to show we should all worry and we have an organisation with massive power and when they exercise that power, the implications for us can be extraordinary. The dramatic move also means New Zealanders can't access Aussie news on the social network and comes in response to a proposed Aussie law which would make tech giants pay for content. It still fundamentally misunderstands how news worked on Facebook. With a very heavy heart, we've had to restrict the sharing of news in Australia. Behaving more like North Korea than an American company. Facebook also wiped non-news related accounts, including health departments, emergency service warnings and even the page for an organisation helping victims of domestic abuse. That's a public safety issue. I've spoken to Facebook this morning and said the government expects them to restore those pages as quickly as possible. And there's fears the blanket ban could go further. Facebook also owns Instagram. We do live streams on there often. We do quizzes, we do uh, polls, and uh, for Instagram to go, that would be worrying. The Australian government plans to go ahead with the legislation. And while Facebook's playing hardball, Google's caved, striking multi-million dollar deals with three of Australia's biggest media companies which our government says it's watching closely. But for now, the message from Facebook is clear. Australia's been unfriended. Imogen Wells, One News.